Siege of Petersburg, 1864. What may come as a surprise to some Civil War history fans is that the Siege of Petersburg did not begin after U.S. Grant had followed General Robert E. Lee through the battles of the Overland Campaign. The Wilderness, Spotsylvania, Cold Harbor. In fact, on the 5th of May, 1864, as the Battle of the Wilderness was raging, on the same date, the Army of the James under General Benjamin Butler was sent by Grant to begin the Siege of Petersburg by landing 30,000 troops at Bermuda Hundred and beginning what would become known as the Bermuda Hundred Campaign. Through battles from their ships, from the Point of Rocks to Enon Church, Fort Dunlap, Fort Clinton, and the Second Battle of Drury's Bluff, as well as many others, Butler would probe and often fail his way forward through the month of May and into the month of June. 5th of May, 1864. Information has been received that Avril has cut the Tennessee Railroad and destroyed a, destroyed a depot of supplies at Dublin. Also, that General Butler has carried the outer works of Fort Darling, G.O.G. Meade, Major General. Proctor's Creek, Drury's Bluff, Fort Darling. Butler had the whole army of the James, Beauregard assembled 18,000 men. There were about 6,500 casualties all told, over 4,000 Union and about 2,500 Confederate. After his repulse at Swift Creek and Fort Clinton, on 9th May, Butler withdrew into his entrenchments at Bermuda Hundred. Gus Beauregard patched together an army of 18,000 in front of Butler's 30,000. On 12th May, Butler moved north against the Confederate line at Drury's Bluff, but again adopted a defensive posture when his attack was not supported by gunboats. The next day, the Union 10th Corps circled along Centralia Road and struck the Confederates' right flank at the Woodbridge House. Carrying one defensive line after stiff fighting, Beauregard fell back to another line of prepared defenses, and the tenacious Confederate defense showed their growing strength. 13 to 16 May, the brigade was engaged in the several battles in the neighborhood of Palmer's Creek. The entire loss of the brigade during the four days exceeds 500. Since the withdrawal of the troops to the entrenchments, the brigade has been occupied consistently with, on picket or fatigue duty. During the month, the brigade was occupied mainly on the line of the entrenchments near Bermuda Hundred. 2nd June, the picket line held by the 7th Connecticut Volunteers was violently attacked and the regiment lost severely. The 3rd New Hampshire, by whose aid the line was regained, suffered loss. 9 June. The brigade participated in the reconnaissance towards Petersburg. Although we will not focus on this here, the most well-known battle in the Siege of Petersburg during the 1864 campaign is the Battle of the Crater, which turned from a unique attempt by Pennsylvania miners to dig a tunnel under a Confederate earthen fort. Unfortunately, when it was blown up in July, the tactical charge turned into a disaster. When the fall arrived, U.S. Grant and Robert E. Lee were in the area, and Grant was determined to attack the growing Confederate earthworks, earthworks that were deepening each day. On 27 October 1864, Grant began the sixth offensive focused Boynton Plank Road, and what is today known as the Battle of Burgess Mill or the Battle of Hatcher's Run, 2nd November 1864. Major, I have the honor to submit in brief the part taken by my command in the late operation south of Hatcher's Creek. My command, in connection with Colonel Hoffman's, broke camp at 4 a.m. 27th Altimo and marched to the front. We were delayed on the Vaughn Road by troops in front until after daylight, then mar and then marched to Armstrong House and crossed to the south side of Hatcher's Run. Here, a line of battle was formed and marched with skirmishers in front and its right resting on the creek, so through dense thickets and jungles until connection was made with the 1st Division and the troops struck Hill's Corps of Confederates in flank, laying behind hastily constructed works in front of the 1st Division. My skirmish line passed this point and advanced half a mile up the creek towards the plank road and in full view of the Confederate hostel. This was done without opposition. My line of battle, having made its connection with the 1st Division, halted and bivouacked for the night. Development during the night, as well as the statement of prisoners, showed the enemy had its line on three sides of our position, but he did not attack. During the night, 
Mine Command captured 224 prisoners, with four officers belonging principally to Mahone's division of the Confederate Army. At 3 a.m. 28th Ultimo, the command crossed Hatcher's Run over a bridge built by it during the night and joined the 1st Division and formed line of battle on its left, fronting Hatcher's Run. At 10 a.m., my skirmish line from the front and scouting parties on the flank crossed the creek without molestation from the enemy, and the command returned to its old position. Captured by the command were turned over to the Provost Guard, 3rd Division, 5th Army Corps, a commissioned officer of the 2nd Army Corps near Dabney's Mill, and a 1st Lieutenant of Company D, 8th Maryland Volunteers. Many of these prisoners had in charge men formed the 2nd Corps who had been captured. Among those released was an officer who claimed to be of the rank of Major and a member of General Hancock's staff. My losses were very slight and as follows. Officers, prisoner, one. Officers, prisoner, one. Enlisted men, killed one. Wounded, ten. Prisoner, seven. All of which is respectfully submitted. Edward S. Bragg, Brigadier General of Volunteers, 3rd Division. Thank you for watching our video. Please remember to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really helps us grow the channel. Also, if you're looking for more history-related content, then we invite you to head over to our website, americasbesthistory.com. There you'll find hundreds of well-researched articles on a plethora of topics ranging in dates from 1491 to the present day. We upload new articles weekly. Hope to see you there!